Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you two new eyeshadow palettes. Now these have literally just came out. They were like released like a week ago and then, well no, they were introduced to us like a week or two ago and then they were released on Monday or Tuesday this week and I just happened to get myself both of those palettes. So I am going to be showing you guys the new Huda Beauty Obsessions and it is the Coral Obsession and the Gemstone Obsession. I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this eye look. Um, I'm also going to be talking a little bit more about the palettes and I'm going to be giving you my thoughts, what I, how I felt the palettes were. I'm also going to be showing you guys swatches. So if you keep on watching, next I'm going to show you the swatches of the palettes. So first up will be the Gemstone palette which is the Full Shimmer and the second one will be the Coral Obsessions which is matte and shimmer. So I'm going to briefly show you both palettes now then I'm going to show you the swatches and then I'm going to get straight into the tutorial. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do then leave a like and comment and do not forget to subscribe. Do not watch this video without subscribing first. I want you to, that's, I want that to be the first thing you do is subscribe then watch the video and I want you to enjoy. Hey guys, so I am going to get straight in with the video. I am so excited to do this. So, okay guys, so I'm going to get straight in with the video. I've just prepped my eyes and done my eyebrows, so I'm literally ready to go in with the first shade. I don't know what look I'm going to create, I don't know what look I want to go for. All I know is I want to use this blue right here. Like, look at this blue. Look at this palette! Look at both of these palettes! I am in love. Literally, I'm in love with the colours in these palettes. Like, they just look insane. So I'm going to start with the Coral Obsessions, which is this one. And the reason I'm starting with this one, because it does have more transitional shades, I am going to use both palettes, as I said, but this one has more transitional shades. So I'm going to go in with, I'm trying her other Obsessions palettes. They were really pigmented, like they were really nice and pigmented. As soon as I've seen, okay yeah, that, that is pigmented. As soon as I've seen these I literally seen these on Instagram. She literally posted them like what two days before it even came out. So it was like, oh hey, surprise, I'm watching more products. Make sure you get them, kind of thing. So I literally seen them and I was like, I have to. So I caught them and I literally ordered like next day delivery. can't decide what to go with next. Just look at this palette. Look at these colours. Look at that yellow. Look at that pink. Ugh, look at that red. Ugh, that burnt orange even. Next, I'm going to go in with... I look so scared. Okay. Next, I am going to go in with... I will say that in the pan, like the first ones that she released, there is like a lot of fall off going in the pan, but not on my face yet so we'll see how that works when I keep applying but there is quite a lot of fall off in the pan. So far I am loving how it's looking. Okay so next I'm going to go in with this shade here. 
and I'm just going in with this just to deepen it up slightly like around the edges. One thing I will say that with this eyeshadow, I don't know if you can see that on, on camera guys, but that was so pigmented. But one thing I will say about this, I don't know what I was going to say. Well, that's what I was going to say. So one thing I will say about this palette is it's annoying that they don't have names because I keep like saying I'm using this shade and this shade and this shade but I want to be able to say like oh I'm using sunshine or I'm using watermelon. <laughs> I don't know but I want to be able to say what shade I'm using. Okay, I really wanted to go in with a blue, but I don't know how that's going to look with this look. I think it can work. So, that was the Coral Obsessions. I'm now going to move on to the Gemstone Obsessions, which is just hello. Like, I really want to go in with this blue. I don't know if it's going to look good or if I'm going to pull it off, but I just want to try it. We're going to try it and see how it looks. To cut my crease, I'm going to put some concealer. I'm going in with the uh, Revolution Conceal and Define. I'm just going to put a little dab here and here, and then I'm just going to look up. And that basically creates a line there as a guide of where to put and how high to go. And where I'm putting the concealer, I'm blending the edges as well so it all sits smoothly and it doesn't look too sharp. <sighs> it's time to go in with this dramatic blue. So, I am going in. I don't know if I want to do this or not. Okay, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. If it doesn't look nice, then we'll just go with it. Okay. I'm going to go in with I think I'm going to wet this brush a little bit because it's not got as much pigment as what I thought but then if I wet it it might just go wrong Okay, we're going to try with the finger first A lot of pigment I don't know how I'm feeling about it Okay, I'm not hating it I will say that these shadows, they're, they, they are quite pigmented They're not as pigmented as what I thought they were going to be I mean, when it goes on my finger, it's like really creamy, it's really soft, it feels like it's got a lot of texture to it, but when I'm applying it, like, it's just not coming off as pigmented as what I thought it was going to be. I don't know if it's just the way that I'm applying it, or because I'm not using a wet brush, maybe. See, it's not really... I've just put one stroke there, and not a lot has came off compared to... I had to keep like adding quite a bit more. It just feels really bitty. Okay, now that I've like blended that out a bit more, I am really liking how it looks. Blending is literally key. If you put something on and think that it's just gonna look nice, it's not. If you don't blend, if you blend then it'll look a lot better than what you thought it was gonna look. So I didn't think that this it in the palette it looks like a blue, but I would say it's more like a deep purple blue. It's not like, it's not complete blue. It's not, not like the KKW and Mario blue. It has like purple, purple to it. So I am liking how it looks. I'm gonna go in with, hmm, which one's lighter? I'm gonna go in with this shade here. And I'm just gonna dab that in my inner corners. Okay guys, I'm going to quickly go away, do the rest of my face, come back and give you my final thoughts on these palettes. Hey guys, so I'm back with the finishing look. I just finished my full face um, and added some lashes on as well. With these two palettes, I've got to say, they're upside down, but I've got to say that I am definitely obsessed, like... The Obsession palettes, I'm obsessed. 
No, but seriously. I am in love with these two palettes. The colours in them are just beautiful. Like, I never, ever, ever go for like a bold, colourful eye look. I always go subtle and I keep it as subtle as I can because I'm always too like, oh, I don't know how it's going to look. But Huda Beauty, you have pushed me out of my comfort zone and you have let me create this bold eye look. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you have, then leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you for another video.